So just wanted to show you guys there is a budget-friendly shower that you can do if you're looking to remodel and you don't really want to spend a lot of money but you want it to look good, this is what you can do. All right, guys, my name is Keith, and I'm going to show you guys how we went from this shower in our house to this one, and it was all $300 or under. It just kind of depends on your situation. Um, we already had the paneling for from our roof. We had redone our roof, so it's actually green on the other side, but my wife wanted it white so that it was bright in here, you know, as you took a shower. So this is, all this is, is roofing panel. Um, it actually has a 40 year warranty on it. So we already had this, um, but you can also use galvanized steel that you can buy the eight foot sheets at Lowe's or Home Depot. They're usually around, well now, since prices of everything are ridiculous, the price of those sheets are around $22 a sheet and you can use that. So what we did is we went to Lowe's and we bought just the base. So you have the base part here, and we're redoing the floor. This whole bathroom's being redone. But we pulled the old shower out. Um, we had to actually, because the drain had been in there so long, like we kind of basically had to break the top part of the drain in order to even get the shower out. We could get the shower out the bathroom door, but we could not get it out the bedroom door. So that's why it looked like it did outside. We actually had to cut it in half. Um, so... This shower pan comes in different sizes. You can get them at Lowe's, you can get them at Home Depot, you can order them online. This already has a base underneath it, so you don't have to like do a concrete bed or anything under it. It's ready to go. And if you guys come down here with me and look, there's a lip that is all the way around the edge of this whole thing. And it fit in here perfect. So when we got the old one out, we put the base in. We hooked our drain up, which was fairly simple. I did buy an offset drain, so you, you know, if you're not very good at plumbing or you don't know anything about it, you might have to have some help there. But if you're pretty handy with stuff, we basically, I bought an offset drain. Um, this piece pops out, and and the drain itself will actually, um, uh, on this one we glued, but a lot of them will screw in. Like if it has threads, you can screw it in. So this base was $225, even with the price of everything being really high, which I didn't think was too bad. So $225, some change, somewhere in there. Um, so not too bad, and it already had the bed in it. So we ripped the old shower out, um, which was fairly easy. It was only held in by screws along the top part, portions in the side. Once we unscrewed that uh, and undid the plumbing from the wall, which... The access is on the back side of this door. They did not have shut off, so we had to shut our entire water off coming to the house, but we did put shut offs on the plumbing coming up to here. So anyway, once we got that ripped out, we got the bed in, we got our drain in, uh, we started putting the walls up. Worked out perfect. These were 36 inches wide, so we went all the way around the wall. Fairly simple, and we tried to get everything into studs so we screwed it around we cut our hole which we still got a little work to do up here on this um but uh you know we ran we had redid our plumbing up to here um so you have hot and you have cold um and then of course you have the shower head but it was all fairly simple like i said pulling the old shower out putting the new shower pan in was pretty easy um getting the walls up was super easy like i said if you have an issue with plumbing or you're not very you know good at it you don't know much about it you might want to hire somebody to do the plumbing part if you need to rerun it but as far as putting the shower pan in and getting the walls up it was super simple we spent less than three hundred dollars to put this in um we didn't have to purchase these so that's why i'm saying less than 300 we gave 225 for that we did buy the handrails um to put in here uh eventually we plan on airbnb in this house we're redoing basically the entire house we're redoing walls we're redoing all kinds of stuff but just wanted to show you guys there is a budget friendly way to change your shower out without having to buy the actual um backing in the walls because those things can range anywhere between six hundred dollars and three thousand dollars it depends on what you get but all you really need is either galvanized steel or some roofing sheets if you have some extra whatever color you want um uh, like i said this is green 
which is the color of the roof that we put on. But my wife wanted the white, so we flipped it over. When we use the back side of those panels, um, they're not going to rot. They're not going to rust. When you turn the shower on, it literally, you know, even if it hits here, it runs right down, goes into the shower pan, drains out. So if you're looking for a budget-friendly shower, um, this is an easy way to go. You'll just pop your own shower out, depending on what kind you got, especially if it's just a stall shower. Get the right size shower pan. Make sure you do your measurements. Um, once you put that in, you can use any kind of uh, sheet metal, galvanized steel, anything that's not going to rust. Um, and like I said, this stuff has a 40-year warranty on it, so we just use the extra what we had. You can pop it in, and it's just a budget-friendly shower. You don't have to spend $1,500, $1,800, $2,000, $3,000. We literally got less than $300 in this. Buy and that includes buying these rails and the faucet uh, the, uh, to, turn the, uh, you know, to turn the water on. So um, all of that stuff, we spent less than $300 to put this shower in. Usually we will show you step by step how we put this in. We just didn't have time. I did it over uh, one weekend. Actually, we did it over one day. Um, and I had worked a lot that week. So... We put it in and we just didn't have time to do all the video and then stuff um, because, you know, it's better usually if you have two people. Um, I, my wife helped me out and thank God she's such a blessing. We do pretty much everything together. Uh, we actually rebuilt a 1978 pontoon boat from nothing, pretty much from the ground up. And we plan on having a video of that put on as well. We're still working on that one um, as far as the video goes, the, the project's done. But usually we'll show you guys kind of step by step how to put it up and how uh, pretty simple it is. There were some parts of it that were kind of challenging, but it was it was it was fairly easy. For now, we have kind of a cheap shower curtain hanging up here. Um, this is temporarily because what I plan on doing, um, which is kind of pricey, it all depends on what you want. Um, We'll still have a curtain here, but I'm actually going to hang a rail here, and we're going to do sliding barn doors. They're going to be the double, so one will slide behind the other, um, and that's what we're going to put up here just to kind of close the shower area off, um, and you can open it up kind of like a sliding glass door. So, and I'm not sure what material I'll use for the door, but I'm going to buy the railing system that's the double sliding doors. Um, and I'm going to come up with some sort of door to hang here, but it'll actually be the sliding bar door kit that we're going to use to hang here. But for now, you know, you can use, uh, um, this is a cheap one. We actually bought it at the dollar store. So, um, but, you know, it works for now. So if you're not looking for fancy, you can just buy a shower curtain, a rod, hang it up. It works perfect. Um, but we do plan on putting up a sliding bar door because we're going to do the walls and walnut. So again, my name is Keith. I'm the owner and operator of Causey's Pest Control. Just wanted to show you guys an easy way and cheap way to redo your shower without it costing you a lot of money. And our next project is going to be a stock tank bathtub. Um, my wife liked the plastic one because it's wider. We do not have it put in yet. Um, as you can tell, we still have our plumbing stubbed up. We are going to work on this and we'll show you guys how you can actually put in a cheap bathtub as well too by using a stock tank. This is our next project. We're going to get in here and get this thing installed and get the plumbing hooked up to it. So another simple easy way for you to get a cheap bathtub too which we'll show in another video.